Good morning. Here we are on the beautiful River Store. We've moved further along. We're not at Royd anymore. We're just outside Harlow. The river is as beautiful as ever. Asia's away at the moment, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about self-sufficiency, and in particular, how we manage and generate electricity. We are constant cruisers, and so it's very important for us to be self-sufficient wherever we are on the canal system. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, let's just have a look at behind us here, and you can see the beautiful solar panels there and uh, they are gathering energy from the sun as I speak. It's a lovely sunny morning, and that energy is gonna be converted into electricity stored in our batteries. Now, the problem here is, of course, is that the sun is dropping lower and lower, and so we're not gonna get much energy from the sun uh, very soon, about 10% in midwinter compared to 100% in high summer. So what do we do? Well, we have to run the engine. So let's go down to the belly of the beast now and have a look at what goes on down there. So here we are. Uh, you can see there our domestic batteries. We have four uh, and they're pretty heavy, hefty things. And this is where our electricity is stored. And here immediately, in front of us is the engine itself, it's an Isuzu engine, diesel, we're not too happy about that, it's obviously fossil fuel, but very, very reliable. The engine turning, it's got an alternator that just there on the side, you might be able to see it, and the engine turns, creates energy, this energy is converted into electricity stored in our batteries. And it's very important to look after your batteries because if they drop below a certain level, you could be in trouble. We did go away once and we left the fridge door open and our battery reading was at 53%. And it took hours and hours and hours of running the engine to build the uh, capacity back up to uh, full again. So uh, we won't be doing that again in ever again. So let's move on. I'm going to take you inside the boat now and just show the kinds of appliances we have so you realize that we actually do have, um, you know, a pretty good lifestyle here. But you have to design it. You have to manage it and understand it. Let's move in now. Right. So here we are. What we have on our boat is both a 240 volt. So the standard 240 sockets here and also a 12 volt uh, socket here. And you can see that I'm, I'm charging our little anchor speaker at the moment on the 12 volt. So a lot of things actually don't need to be charged on 240 volts. They, they, that's gonna draw a lot of power if you're using 240 volts. Things like toasters, and we have a washing machine, which uh, I'll briefly show you. It's not terribly interesting, but it's a washing machine that takes a big draw. Uh, so certain things we have to run on 240 volts, but a lot of things like mobile phones, uh, this little anchor speaker, we can run on 12 volt, which takes far less energy. So you're, you're really all the time trying to protect your uh, batteries, not run them down too much. And the very last thing we'll do is what I do every day, is check the battery level to see what capacity we are and whether I need to run the engine to top it up. Right, okay, so... So here are two of our heaviest appliances. This, uh, now this fridge is actually a 12 volt fridge, which is a lot more expensive in fact than an ordinary domestic fridge. And this is on all the time. Uh, so this is really our most constant drawer of power from our batteries. Um, in winter time, we sometimes switch it off and then we put stuff because it's so cold. We have a box that we, where we put frozen stuff outside and vegetables to keep them really nice and cold and fresh. Um, but at the moment, this is on because it's still pretty warm and it's summer or the end of summer. And then if we come this way, we've got our lovely 
washing machine so we can do all our own washing here and uh, now the washing machine takes quite a big draw uh, and we're very careful about not uh, you know wrecking the battery so we actually run the engine when we put the washing machine on as well just to generate extra power to make sure that the batteries uh, and our electrical system don't run down So here we are, I'm just going to check the battery level for today and let's see what it is, shall we? Okay, let's have a good look and bring the camera down and there you are, you can see it. That's reading 98%, so it's just too short of 100, which is absolutely brilliant. Here we are, we're almost at the equinox and uh, our batteries are almost fully charged so this is brilliant i haven't run the engine for to generate extra power for uh let me see five six days something like that so it just shows you how much energy you can get from the sun so there you are we are self-sufficient and i hope you've enjoyed this little journey through our electrical system and learned a little bit more about how you can be self-sufficient on a boat okay that's it bye bye